In the upcoming segment, we're going to be talking a little bit about the upcoming holiday of Hanukkah, of course, and that is because I find that as you get older, the gift giving on Hanukkah starts to become less and less in the family. So, personally, at work, we do a gift exchange at work, and here to talk to us today about a little bit of gift exchanges and gift ideas in the office place is Erica Mintz, uh, founder of Unique Corporate Gifts. Now, tell me a little bit about some of the cool things that are out there this year for gift giving. Well, typical to our industry, from what we have found, has been very hot mm -hmm. in the premium and incentive and promotional industry. I brought uh, just a few ideas. There's obviously lots of stuff to give, depending on the company you're working with or the recipient of the gifts. But I brought some stuff today that okay. I thought I'd show you. Sure. Um, something actually that is a huge trend this year, and I think you can just tell. Uh, I know by, what it is just by looking at it. Just by watching TV, um, poker is huge. you know been a huge trend of the year. Celebrity poker, it's on TV all the time. So that was reflected in our industry. And so poker sets are huge, mm -hmm. and we've got small sets, large sets. This is something around uh, eighty dollars. Okay. They're not cheap. No, they're and, not. But they're very useful, and we put the logo, of course, on the top on a nice plate. So you need corporate gifts, condones, gambling in the workplace. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Tell me about the other stuff if that you If you want to gamble, we can help yeah, feed the exactly. habit. <laughs> so that's a cool gift for this year for the holidays. Yeah. You have two other boxes on the table. Tell me a little bit about what it is, and then after we go through this, maybe we can talk about exactly how people are doing this, you know. Sure. What are the trends like this year? So what is this? Okay, this is something also, oh. um, Christmas time is a time either for alcohol or typical brev you know, beverage. Cons consuming. Exactly. So this is a really nice executive tea set. It comes in two sizes. I mm -hmm. brought the large size, but depending on the price point of the company. Mm -hmm. Now let me ask you something. When people are buying these type of promotional items, for yeah. example, a tea set or maybe a poker set, what makes it a corporate gift as opposed to something that I would buy my mother, aunt, or uncle? Okay. Well, that has been the trend actually. When when we started six years ago, people were giving the typical fridge magnet mm -hmm. or mouse pad or baseball cap and. What I have seen is the shift has been really, if you're receiving a Christmas gift from one of your colleagues or co-workers, you really want it something to be not just a mug for the office or something like that. You really want it to be something that reflects the holiday season and something that they bring home. Okay. So our Christmas gifts tend to be less promotional and more Usable. gift. Yeah, more gift oriented for the home, mm -hmm. um, and more of a keepsake item, which is why you're getting these executive sort of mahogany boxes and things that are nicer. So gone are the days of logo imprinted pens, pencils and Floor, floor, uh, fridge magnets, like gone you said. Gone they're not for trade shows, okay. but gone they are for this Hanukkah season and, and for this Christmas season for gifts at this time of year. Okay. Yeah. And, and um, I see the Investors Group logo. <laughs> the Investors Group logo, the last thing, as you can see, is another nice box. Packaging is important in our industry. Mm -hmm. This is a three piece executive barbecue set, which are also huge. They've been huge all year and are big continuing through Christmas and Hanukkah. Um, a lot of people barbecue throughout the winter, mm -hmm. and as spring comes around, it's a gift that they're going to bring out in the spring or use now. Not a gift you'd buy yourself, but a gift that would be great to receive. So they're very well received and we've done great with them. They've when people when people are coming to you for gift ideas, is yeah. there a different approach that you use when it comes to, let's say, buying for a boss or buying for a secretary or perhaps a co-worker or a subordinate? Like, is there a different approach to each category? Absolutely, and there is <laughs> what we call a gift giving etiquette. Okay. And so, absolutely, if you're giving something to your hard-working secretary, you may want to do a spa basket. If you, mm -hmm. you know, she's been overworked, if you're giving something to a VP of a company who's celebrating maybe a 25th anniversary with the company, perhaps a wine decanter, a Waterford Crystal wine decanter, or a nice leather weekend bag mm -hmm. um, would be more applicable. So we would have to know who's receiving the gift and okay. we obviously come in almost as a consultant and help the company pick the best gift for the recipient, be it so a large crowd or one person. You sound, uh, you definitely sound like an expert in the field. None to say that's why that she's in the studio. But how did you get into this? How did you start doing this? I've read articles and in Montreal Magazine from Federation CJA yeah. about you and about your background. But share with the viewers a little, you know, how did you get into this? Um, I, my goal I think was always to have been an entrepreneur. I loved, uh, I'm an only child and mm -hmm. so <laughs> I was given, I don't know, a lot of attention or, and so I, I always felt, uh, I don't want to say as a leader, but I always knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. And so my plan had been I'd gone to McGill and I majored in psychology and minored in marketing. So my goal was to work for two years and to do an MBA. So I had a great job for two years. My next step became MBA. I didn't get into the school of my choice. And 
I looked at that almost as an opportunity. I said, you know what, now's the time. I'm 24, I saved up some money. I wanted to start a business anyhow. I'm going to do it now. Now's the time. So I had saved up about, uh, you know, a little bit of money from working, started a website, got That's on a great. plane to New York. Got some samples and literally called everyone I knew. <laughs> that's terrific. And I think that that's the way that people should start business. You know, whether you be coming out of MBA school or yeah. coming out of even high school or university, yeah. have no fear and just go for it. And you did that. Good for you. Yeah. I mean, Thank it's. You. Is, is there something that you can tell? We have 30 seconds left. Is there something that you can share with us about people who might be worried about going off into the business world? One sentence, one, just one piece of advice from Erica Mintz. Going off into the business yeah. world? How do and you do it? Your own. How do you succeed? Yeah. One word. Will. Will. All right.